Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Quebec, and today I'm doing sort of a follow-up to the DIY hot foil sticker video that I made a few months back. In that video, I had really awesome results with foiling on both the white and clear glossy laser labels from online labels. Since then, several of you have commented and emailed to ask if I've tried foiling on the Silhouette brand sticker paper. I hadn't at the time, so I wanted to make a video testing out this brand of sticker paper to hopefully give you an alternative to the online label sticker paper, especially to those of you who are outside the United States because it turns out that the online label shipping to foreign countries can get pretty pricey. Okay, let's get to testing. The Silhouette brand sticker paper comes in white, which is a matte finish, and it also comes in clear, which is a glossy finish. It doesn't specify on the packaging for either of them whether they're safe for use with laser printers, so I was a little apprehensive about trying them with my printer. But the good news is that I didn't have any problems at all using either of these with my laser printer. You may not want to risk it though, so I wanted to give you a heads up. First, I'm going to test out the printable white sticker paper. This paper has a matte finish, so I didn't have high hopes for it because DIY hot foiling typically requires a very smooth and glossy surface for great results. But I already had this sticker paper, so I figured I'd try it out because you never know, right? Here I have a print and cut sheet that I made in Silhouette Studio and printed onto the sticker paper, and it printed very nicely, no problems at all, in my laser printer. If you're interested, I'll have a link to where you can purchase the clip art set that I used for this project in the description area below. Okay, so now it's time to foil. I already have my mink turned on and set to a heat setting of 4, which is the setting that I use for most everything that I foil because it's given me the best results. I cut a couple of strips of plain printer paper to cover the registration marks when I run the page through the mink because foiling the registration marks could cause the page to have trouble registering later when we cut it with a die cutting machine. One of the images at the bottom of the page dips down under the bottom strip of paper, so I just cut the paper into smaller pieces so the image wouldn't be covered at all. Next, I'll cut a piece of mink reactive foil in rose gold to cover the page. Then I'll place the printed sheet of sticker paper and the foil shiny side up inside a mink transfer folder and run it through the machine. After the page has gone through the mink, I'll peel off the piece of reactive foil and you can see that the results aren't great. But this is pretty much what I expected with the matte finish sticker paper. The surface just isn't smooth and glossy enough to give great results. And you can see all of the little bits of foil that remained on the foil sheet after I peeled it off of the paper. It's too bad, but it is what it is. Moving on, next we're going to test out the Silhouette Clear Printable Sticker Paper. The great news is that this sticker paper is super glossy and there's no coating to rough up the surface like some of the other brands of glossy sticker paper out there. The other thing that I want to mention about this paper is that it's definitely thicker than the Silhouette White Sticker Paper and the Online Labels Glossy Label Paper. I actually ended up having to run it through my laser printer manually, which I didn't need to do with any of the other sticker and label papers that I've tried. My printer has been having a lot of printer jam issues lately, so it could have just been my printer. But just keep in mind that you may have to run this through your printer manually since it's on the thicker side. Either way, it printed beautifully. No patchiness or lines or anything. I printed the same print and cut page that I set up in Silhouette Studio for the Silhouette white sticker paper, and because I've had so many issues previously with glossy surfaces registering incorrectly when I go to cut the pages on my Silhouette Cameo, I decided that I didn't want to risk ruining this page when it cut. So I just used the trick where I set up a blank document in Silhouette Studio, activate registration marks, and print the page onto a plain piece of printer paper with just the registration marks. Then I cut each of the marks out from the sheet of paper and line the printer paper marks up over the marks on the printed page and tape them in place. You can find out more about this process in the video at the link that should be popping up right about now. For this project, I'm just going to pop ahead to after I have all of those paper registration marks taped in place. Next, I'll cut strips of plain printer paper to cover the registration marks before running the page through the mink. And I'll cut a piece of mink rose gold reactive foil that's large enough to cover all of the images on the page. After I run everything through the mink and peel off the foil sheet, you can see just how fantastic the foil coverage is. It's just about perfect, and it's definitely comparable to the results that I got with the online labels glossy label paper in my earlier video. Now I'm off to cut out the stickers using my Silhouette Cameo, so I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so I've just finished cutting these, and they registered and cut on my Cameo without any problems at all. 
I just used the material preset for the Silhouette sticker paper in Silhouette Studio, and those settings are a blade depth of 3, a speed of 4, and a single cut. This gave me a really nice kiss cut, and you can see how great the stickers look. Even the images with smaller interior areas cut beautifully. And here's one of the solidly filled leaf images so you can see just how awesome the foil coverage is. Ignore that little silver looking piece on the side there. That's just a small bit of extra foil that I didn't see there that needed to be wiped off. I am super happy with these results and they're definitely on par with the results that I got with the online labels glossy label paper. And the great news is that the Silhouette Clear sticker paper is available in all sorts of online shops, including at Amazon.com. It comes eight sheets to a package and retails for about $7, so it's perfect for those of you who don't need larger quantities. And since it's so widely available, I'm hoping that those of you who live outside the U.S. will be able to get much better shipping rates on it, too. You can find a full list of supplies used in this project in the description area below or in the area below the video if you're watching on kbecca.com. I hope that you found this video to be helpful, and if you'd like to see more Mink Hot Foil projects, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll tune in again soon.